Hello everyone and welcome back to Slide Up Lift. Today we'll show you how to build this creative PowerPoint presentation all on your own. Open PowerPoint. First, add a text box. Enter your title here and format it as you wish. Add a rectangle that meets both sides of the slide and align it to the center vertically. Right click on the shape and go to shape format. In the sidebar, expand the fill and line menus. Select no line in the line menu. Change the color of the rectangle to match your topic. We've decided to go with a subtle shade of gray. Add a rectangle with rounded corners on the right side. Each rectangle will contain one point to highlight. Once you're happy with the size and dimensions of the rectangle, duplicate it to match the number of points you wish to present. Select all three and make any further adjustments necessary. Duplicate the text box you added earlier and format it as you wish. Move it into the rounded rectangle and enter your first heading here. Make sure you leave space on the left for the icon. Duplicate this text box for your other points and add in the text for those as well. Next, you'll want to elaborate a bit on each point so you can go ahead and duplicate the first heading and position it right under the heading. Then format it as you wish. You should always try to keep your description's font weight lower than its heading. This makes it easy for the viewer to differentiate between the two. You can do this by using a bigger or bolder font for your headings. Now that you've got your content on the screen, it's time for the fun bit. Add a circle and duplicate it until you have one for each point. Select all circles and open shape format. Then change the color border as you wish. We're setting the color to white so it creates a contrasting backdrop for the icons that we'll be adding later. Next, save a lighthouse vector image to add as a graphic element to your slide. Insert it by dragging and dropping it from the folder onto the slide. Add a rectangle as a bar in the bottom right corner. This acts as a border, making the slide look more composed. Format it as needed. Add a gradient. Insert a cone-shaped vector image with a gradient. Position it to highlight the first point. Edit the colors and size of the added elements to match your needs. You can also format the text as necessary. Next, select the first box. In format shape, change fill to a gradient fill. Change the colors of the circles in the boxes that aren't in focus to gray. Select the boxes for text and change the transparency to around 19 to 20%. Next, go to insert icons and pick an icon for each point mentioned. Position these in the circle and change the colors and size as needed. Now, it's time to create two copies of the first slide. You can do this by either inserting two blank slides and copying all the elements into it or duplicating the first slide directly. We've used the first method. Now, on each slide, simply adjust the element's position, colors, and more. And that's it. Now, you can use this presentation to impress your audience, and there's always the option to leave the design bit up to us. Check out SlideUplift for professionally designed presentation templates that are sure to catch the eye.